132 bytes because that is the average width of a I mean uh, a printer okay we cannot have more than 132 bytes but usually nowadays we create only 80 bytes but it depends if uh, there are many fields you can have up to 132 bytes and a report a normal or uh, a report will have 65 lines in a page so we we can we will have 65 lines in a page so a report will have 132 bytes in length probably a minimum can be 80 maximum 132 and we can go beyond 132 also but if you have go beyond 132 we cannot download and print in local printer but you can print in local printer uh, i mean like a landscape in a landscape mode but still it doesn't come properly so we can have maximum 65 lines in a page a report is going to have title a report title and date the date when it was created an optionally time okay and we are going to have headings a report headers a report is can, can be of two types so what are the types one is a detailed report what summary report summary report in summary report which going to give only the totals totals okay totals in detailed report it's going to give complete details have you have you seen any uh, any any anyone have postpaid mobile so if you have postpaid mobile they send a report to you even credit card bill statement is a summary report and detailed report you take any bill okay any bill that is generated you will have a summary report in the front and then detailed report okay and report uh, report structure usually is given by the user okay so if you take a, a bill i mean a report of any bill of a mobile we are it's going to be a different format it's going to have address location and total consumption etc and due date etc so all these are fields in a report but yes. usually yes a report is of two types detail summary sometimes a detailed report will have summary at the end okay and the report will have uh, totals a uh, totals in every page so after, apart from date and time lab page number page number will have totals in every page sometimes there will be two headings also so there will be totals in every page depending on depend on the user okay depend on the user who is giving the report sometimes and the, and the in the final page will be having grand totals so grand totals are displayed in final page okay so a report is of either a detail or summary report sometime a, a detailed report will have summary at the end and report will have all these every page is going to have a title date page number headers and totals are optional depending upon the requirement of the user and in the final page will be having grand totals and as far as totals are concerned there are two types of totals one is called subtotals next is i mean running totals subtotals means subtotals nothing but page totals subtotal mean page total and that is called running totals that's a different terminology i forgot about the terminology So in running totals can you tell me what is running totals can you guess it's any very easy suppose a report is having like this uh, say hari pavan and salary 25000 25000 so this is 50000 in one page page 1 in page 2 say we have somebody tarun 
Tarun and Niroj. So if you write 50,000 here, it is nothing but page totals. Okay, this is page 1, this is page 2. If you write 50,000 here, it's a page totals. So there is another totals called running totals. Running totals means you have to just increase the totals. For example, here it is 50,000. Here it is going to be 1 lakh. I mean, from here till this page. Till the, I mean, it is running means it's like a, from the first page onwards. So in the, in the, for example, if you take third page, from first page onwards, it counts the totals and display in third page. In fourth page till fourth page, that is called running totals. And subtotals means page totals. For every page, there will be some totals. Okay, you should. So all these are some concepts of uh, report writing. A report writing is going to be done in a PS file, and a, the length is this. And lines per page is different. Like 65 lines. That is the maximum lines. You can have very well uh, below this also. It's up to you. It's up to the user. Uh, and title headings and detail items and then finally totals. Totals can be a subtotals or a running running totals. And and sometimes we'll be having a control break. Okay, that'll be control break. Control break means when do you want to start a new page? That is called control break. When do you want to start a new page? For example, so I'll, I'll tell about control break. There'll be control break in a report control break means when do you want to start a new page for example if you have you can have line counter as a control break control break for example line counter is 10 lines then start a new page so then control break is nothing but line counter sometime value in a value in or in detail line if the value in detail line changes then start a new page so this could be a control break a control break can be either a line counter in a page or a control break can be a detail value in a detail line of page for example, suppose um, we write a report. I'm asking you to write a report. I, I, I want, I mean, I want employee number, employee name, and uh, say location, so location for every project. So we in a in a in our PS file or KSDS file, we are having three projects: Walmart, Bank of America, and uh, and one more. I think Citibank, Citibank, or okay, Walmart, Bank, what? Gap, gap, gap. gap, gap. Okay. So there are three uh, projects: Gap, Walmart, Bank of America. Suppose I'm asking you to write a report of employee number, name, and uh, location, and I want only five pages, five lines per page. You can write in any order. Suppose I'm asking, say, I'm telling, say either five lines or it could be whenever the uh, this one changes, whenever the project changes. So you can have five lines in a page, or the project changes. You are understanding what I am saying? A, pay, a, a report can have maximum five lines in a page or when the project changes, you have to start a new page. Suppose there are in, in GAP, uh, so in I mean Bank of America will come to the top. So bank in Bank of America, there are five records. You are writing five records in first page. Then comes GAP. In GAP, suppose there are seven records. Seven people are working in GAP. So second page will have five records, third page will have two records. And then in the fourth page will have Walmart. You understand? We cannot we should not mix two different projects in a page. So either maximum lines is five lines, or when the project changes, you have to start a new page. So this is called control break. A control break can be either line counter, yeah, a fixer line counter. So I want five lines per page in every report. That's what user says. Otherwise, users say, whenever the project changes, I want a new page. So these are some uh, requirements of a user. So in real-time projects, what people user will do? User will just create a, a report, sample report in a notepad and give it to you. 
So user will create a sample report in Notepad and give it to you. And then you have to start, create a report based on the input. For example, so user might give, give a report like this. mm slash dd slash yy. User is, user is saying employee reports. So user will give a report like this. Page number 9999 M number M name M location So user will give a notepad like this. So employee number is 123456. The name is 20 pages, right? 12345123451234. And location is 12345678910. 10 or 15. 12. 15. So this is page number one. This is page number two. So user says, I want five lines per page. I, I want five lines per page and this is the format I want. So data, this data is in, this data is in file. Okay, but you have to write, you have to write a report like this, in this format. Sometime user will be asking. Some totals number of lines per page uh, or if you are having salary instead of location if you are having sal you can have salary then you can count the salary at the line so then we are having totals totals at the end okay that can be totals at the end so a normal report will have title page number and date time is optional and will be having title headings there can be tight to totals in every page, there can be running totals also. Okay, and in the final page, there will be a running totals as well as grand totals. Sometimes there will be a summary report, and even if it's summary report, user will give the, give a, will just write it in a notepad and give it to you. I want a page like this. So what I will do, based on what user is giving, you have to create a report. That is a real challenge. It's not very tough. It's very, very easy, in fact. So it's very easy. Don't get confused. It's very easy. So I'll just repeat what we have seen about the report, report writing. A report writing is written in a PS file. And then PS file is downloaded into Windows. And then we print with a local printer. Even we can download as an Excel sheet also. We call it as a CSV format, comma separated values. A report normally can be 80 lines and maximum is 132 columns. And lines in a page, maximum 65 lines in a page. And you, you, that is maximum, you can have 50 lines in a page also. And a report is going to have a title. There can be more than one title, there can be more than one header. There are many complex reports in the system. We are not going to discuss about complex reports. And date and time, maybe date will be there, time may be there, page number will be there for sure. A report can be a detailed or summary report. There can be totals in a report. A report totals can be either subtotal or running total. Subtotal means the page total. Running total is it's a total calculated from the beginning. And a report optional report will have a control break. Normally control break is line counter. Okay, line counter. I want fixed number of lines in a page. That is a line. That is a where line counter is a becomes a control break. So line counter means number of detail lines. Okay, number of detail lines. For example, here this is a line counter. I want five lines in a page. So I'm not, we are not talking about 65 lines. 65 lines means from here to here 65 lines. You understand? From here to here 65 lines. So this line counter. 
So number of details you want to display in a report, that is a line counter. So this is fixed by the user. It can be 20, 30, 40 also, 50 also. But overall, a page lines should be not more than 65. And then we can have control breaks on a field in a page. Okay, and uh, whenever a when, whenever the number of lines exceeded, you are going to start a new page or if the value changes also, you start a new page. Okay, now I'm not, I'm not going to uh, teach anything more. What I'm going to do, I'm not going to tell you how to write a program. Okay, I'll just tell you about the syntax. So here, okay, I'll just change the syntax. This is also another syntax. Here, read file name. Okay, just hold on. Thanks for watching.